In this video, you will see how to use the classical canon of human body proportions to make a life drawing of a standing female figure. Life Drawing by Vladimir London This artwork is done on watercolor toned paper in red pencil. We are using the eight head canon of a human figure's proportions. This way we have divided the height of the figure into four equal parts by splitting each half into two equal parts. The top part is halved as well, giving us one-eighth of the figure. I added a little bit to that dimension. I also mark the approximate width of the pelvis. This width can be checked as relative proportion to the height of the body. It fits about five times in life and we do so in drawing. You may notice that the line of the shoulders is also tilted. This tilt is in the opposite direction to the pelvis. This is because of the curvature of the spinal column in this pose. The height of the pelvis is equal to the height of the head. We apply this proportion in drawing. Please note that the top of the pelvis has the same tilt as the hip joint line. The kneecap is located just above the line at one-fourth of the figure from the ground. When drawing a leg, pay attention to the curved lines that flow from one side to another. The model's left forearm is foreshortened and therefore appears slightly shorter than the height of the head. The height of the head divided in half gives the level of the eyes. The bridge of the nose is at the same level as the upper eyelids. I might use a pencil extender and hold a pencil with the candle grip to speed up hatching. The right approach to render tonal values is to build them gradually, starting from the darkest places and working in layers of hatching. It is essential to apply light pressure on a pencil to avoid bold, strong strokes. One of the benefits of toning good quality cotton paper with watercolor is that I can now erase highlights with a rubber eraser to the white surface of paper without damaging it. Erasing highlights also removes some redundant lines of constructive drawing, including lines of contours, axes, and alignments. With wider strokes, I can unite bigger areas, so rendering does not look patchy. Such cycles can be repeated several times first rendering big areas, then working on details and coming back to the bigger areas once again to unite values in bigger masses.